excavators and other heavy equipment took over the area to demolish the home. And that's where ABC6 News reporter Jackie Orozco joins us live outside the DeVries home in Hayward. Jackie, how long did it take to knock down the DeVries home? Well, Nicole, it happened real fast. Literally in 10 minutes, the whole house was completely on the ground. Workers are now fighting against the clock to complete construction of the home. And many volunteers say they are all eager to get to work on the new home. Hundreds of volunteers showed up bright and early this morning to help with demolition day and say they are ready to do everything and anything. We are loading buses and then they're going to um, start at the end and then we're going to drive up. It's pretty cool. I know you'd never think it would come around here, but it's neat that they did. Really to early. see all the community come out. Mm -hmm. and help each other out. The ABC crew filmed what they called the Braveheart scene, where hundreds of volunteers met the designers and were pumped up to knock down the house. The host of the show, Ty Pennington, says this house really needs to be torn down. It's been so many additions onto an old farmhouse that where the seams are, where there was a, the water is literally pouring into their house, which has caused some mold, and because of her condition with her heart, mm -hmm. any kind of cold, any kind of thing she gets, it, it, it takes a lot longer for her to heal. Right before the demolition, the designers did their own damage to the house, then it was gone. Well, you like to knock it down in the basement, that way you can crawl right on top of it. Like if this was a taller house, you'd have to knock a pile, and then you'd climb right up on the pile, and then you'd reach up the top and, and knock that down. Pennington says it's the start of a new beginning, not only for the DeVries family, but for the entire community. What I take away is just how great people next door to you can be. You just have no idea. You just have to mm -hmm. get a chance to actually get to know them. And I think this week we're going to get to know this town, which is really cool. Demolition crews had one hour to completely knock down the house and get everything out of the area. And as you can see, crews are, are leveling the basement floor and they are 10 feet underground. That, and then they're going to get ready to pour concrete for foundation of the new home. Many workers say it's going to be a very long night, but an opportunity of a lifetime. Reporting live in rural Hayward, I'm Jackie Orozco, ABC 6 News. Okay, Jackie, thanks so much. And here's your chance to get in on all the fun of Extreme Maker Home Edition. The DeVries' son, Derek, likes to make items out of duct tape. The designers want the public to make items out of duct tape to help decorate his room. They say the more creative, the better. Just go to the build site on Saturday with your creation at 3 p.m. and you might get a chance to make it on the show with some of your creations. And if you'd like to help out the DeVries family in their new home, you can drop off, drop off donations right here at ABC6. You can make monetary donations or give gift cards. Donations are accepted during regular business hours in Austin or in Rochester. You can see those addresses there listed on your screen and please make checks out to Extreme Makeover Larson Contracting. It's nice to see all those uh, volunteers, and they looked like they had a good time there. They're so excited. <laughs> they certainly were.